Hope everyone is having a great day, and don't forget, if it makes sense to you, it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else. Yo, what is going on, everybody? In today's video, we are going to be giving you my honest experience of two and a half months um, into my SMMA journey. Um, I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys. I'm not saucing anything and making it seem better than it is. This is my completely honest um, experience, and I'm going to give you, like, how hard have I actually been working to achieve this point in, in my SMMA um, journey. So let's just go ahead and get through this intro here, and then I just have some stuff. I'm just going to be kind of rambling on. Um, so if this isn't your video, I completely understand. But if we could please smash that subscribe button, guys. Let's get to 10K. I believe only 3% of my viewers are subscribed. So if you could smash that sub button, it helps me out tremendously. And the biggest thing that actually helps is, is hitting that like button um, because when that like button gets interacted with in the comment section is getting comments, <laughs> essentially it, it helps out the video more than the sub button does. I mean, the sub button just is, is a number for a channel. It doesn't necessarily help out. It's the views, the likes, and the comments, all right? So yeah, if we could do that, but let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So my honest feedback of two and a half months through my SMA journey, I started on December 24th. That is kind of my start date. I had like, I guess if you're gonna say like start date is like the day I started cold calling, then that's the start date. I had kind of started making like my um, social medias and uh, my my scripts and my onboarding page um, kind of beforehand, maybe a week beforehand, but in general two and a half months into my SMMA. And I just went over some run around, want to run over where we're at today, um, some goals and how we're gonna achieve those goals. So let's go ahead and get started with where we're at today. Um, so today we are at two free clients currently. Um, and then so how I got these clients is one, um, my first client, I cold called someone, they um, were a mentor. And then so they had, they were a mentor and they had people below them that they were mentoring. And he was like, sure. Um, I'm going to give you one of the kids I'm mentoring. And then so now I have one of my clients from a cold call. Uh, I cold called that mentor and he gave me someone that was under him. And then that second client was a referral from my first client. So essentially only one client from cold call, one client from referral. Um, and we're working on getting a third client um, and essentially turning those um, already clients into paid clients. We did have a meeting yesterday morning um, with a lady from Florida. Um, but as um, of what I've got gathered is she's not necessarily interested. Um, and that is completely, utterly my fault. Um, when I was doing my meeting and my presentation, I could have, there was so many things I could have done better, but that's just getting those reps in. I mean, that's only my second meeting because I got my first client and then it was a referral. So I really didn't even have to do a meeting for him because he was already down to do it just based off of um, his buddy giving him the referral. I mean, referrals, you're gonna trust the person that's referring you. So I could have got him without a meeting. So I did. I have done three meetings, but only two for um, clients. Um, and so, so yeah, that meeting could have went way better. And what I gathered, she texted me, she said she wasn't interested. So then I offered working for free and we're yet to hear back from that. But yeah, that's where I'm at. So two free clients right now, guys. Um, cold calling daily. Um, the only amount of profits we have is a $50 one-time deposit from my second client. Um, and then my retainers are $547 a month and um, $1397 a month after that $50 retainer. Um, and so we're working on turning them free clients into paid clients so we can really hit that profit zone. Um, and then work on retaining a client for the first time. Let's go ahead and get into my goals here. Um, my first goal is, they're not necessarily in order, um, but five paying clients before I graduate. Um, this is a very big goal for me um, because if I can get these five paying clients before I graduate, it's really just gonna be, it's just gonna be that sense, it's just like that security of like, because I, I really do not plan on going to college. So having those five clients before I graduate, it's going to be a no-brainer. And, and it's going to be a lot easier for my family to accept the fact that I necessarily don't want to go to college. But it's not like I don't have a plan. <clears throat> and that's the biggest thing, guys. If you don't have a plan, don't just make college your plan because it's such a societal norm. I can't remember who I was watching that said that. I believe it might have been Grant Cardone. But it's like if you don't have a plan don't make college your plan because you're just going to get into debt. Like if you do have a plan to go to college and you need that degree to do what you want to do, 
that's your plan, right? College is your plan. That's completely fine. But if you don't have a plan, don't make college your plan. Like you're just gonna get in, into debt, and it's probably not gonna be something you're, you're gonna enjoy or or proceed to do in the future. <clears throat> so that's goal number one: five paying clients before I graduate high school. And then some some things I'm gonna do to achieve this goal is at least one meeting per week, guys. I really need to start hammering down on getting a meeting every week, and that that's gonna be the biggest thing. And then the way I presume to achieve that is. 650 cold calls a month and then I don't plan this is kind of my thing is like I'm not even going to consider giving up on this agency agency thing for a year and a half so like it doesn't matter like I could essentially maybe like after I graduate and my parents are like you're not really seeing much here I could essentially get a nine to five if it doesn't interrupt with plan right so like let's say I get a nine to five and I realize shoot dude like I'm coming home and I'm not getting stuff done then I think like I would have to quit to really pursue this, but that's a ways away. So we just need to focus on hammering out and and getting as much success as we can before those are even options that need to be acted upon at the time. So we're just thinking ahead, freaking psyching myself out. But yeah, 650 cold calls a month for at least a year and a half before we even consider giving up on this whatsoever. Um, Because I feel like on a lot of the things I've done in the past, um, like maybe drop shipping or FBA or um, different services, niche hopping, I-, I gave up way too fast. And so we're not giving up on this. Essentially, my mindset is I'm going to make this work. Um, there's not really another option. I mean, other than investing in real estate um, as I get older, which this is why I'm doing this, is to get money to invest in real estate. So another goal I have is going to be I mean, it just kind of goes off of my first goal is 10 clients by the end of 2023. Um, That will be, and then my goal is nine low ticket and um, one high ticket. So that would be nine clients at 547 a month and then one client at 1397 a month. That would put me at my goal for the end of um, 2023. And that's a big one for me. Um, If I could hit that, it would would be a good milestone. Um, And it would just be so much motivation to just keep pushing to really hit that five figure mark of 10k per month so i think that's kind of all guys that i got on my paper if i kind of just had to do some things off the top um it would be thank you guys so much for following me like i know i'm getting some views on my videos it's nothing crazy like i rarely hit the three digits in any of my video views Um, i'm mainly doing these youtube videos to really just look back for myself Um, but if i i motivate anyone along the way that's a win to me, right? If I motivate just one person, you know, maybe start an online business, I just motivate one person in the comment section, you know, maybe to stop playing video games and really focus on their their, their mental health and, and starting something that's actually going to last and it's in the real world. Like, I had a very bad uh, video game addiction um, just last year. I mean, it's, it, it's not even something that necessarily took me too long to overcome. Um, I was able to cut out video games like completely in less than like two months and there it's it's very difficult to do um when you're kind of like a hardcore gamer uh, especially if you like for me i was i was posting youtube videos about video games and i was live streaming so i was almost trying to attack it as a career option so that's a little bit different but if you're just playing video games and you're not attacking it as a career option you're you're not streaming or you're not posting videos then that's just it's not the move guys it's helped me out so much and i've been able to be so much more productive um as i cut out video games and stuff like that guys so if that was one tip i had to give to anybody it's cut out video games as soon as possible you can go back to playing video games once you're you're successful i mean video games aren't going anywhere the metaverse is 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 gonna be gonna be a thing when you're older and and so it's just like if i if like i said if i had to give one thing of advice it's it's cut out the video games for now and, and really just get ahead of everyone. Get ahead of everyone, essentially. Read, like if I cut out my video games for just simple things like reading or um, cutting out social media is a big one, guys. Cut out social media. If you are not using any, your social media for business purposes or anything like that, cut it out, bro. The TikTok, cut it out. Instagram, Instagram's not necessarily as bad if you're not scrolling through the feed mindlessly scrolling. Like if you're on, if you follow, you know, maybe like five news channels or like people you really, really look up to, maybe just 30 minutes a day, but not, dude, TikTok is useless unless you're using it for your business, guys. Just social media has got to go. It's got to go. 
and by no means does that mean like cut like snapchat like snapchat is not that big of a deal personally i have absolutely no one on snapchat um other than just like family and um some very 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 close friends that i just enjoy sending pictures to other than that guys it is such a ways to just be sending useless streaks and stuff like that so another one so cut out video games cut out that social media by no means am I a freaking self-help guru or anything like that. Um, hams are not, nothing like that, but those are just two things that I personally have found worked amazing for me. Um, and yeah, so if you guys enjoy my journey, just smash that sub button and you can smash that notification button if you want to be notified um, when I post a new video. I don't know if you can hit the bell without subscribing, but if you can, I mean, that's fine too. You don't even have to subscribe, just hit the bell. Um, so you guys get notified when I drop a new video. You'll see the title, and maybe you'll you'll want to click on it and watch it. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep documenting my journey. I'm excited to look back and see where I'm at in about three more months. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to smash that sub button, smash that like button, drop a comment, hit the bell. Um, only three percent of you guys are subscribed. I hope I made it. I hope I motivated someone in this video today. Um, go make a bag in 2023. Peace.